It is time. We're going to talk about your New York Knicks. People call you the biggest Knicks fan in the world, and you are here. So for most of the summer, a lot of the talk has been about the team's need to acquire a backup center, yeah. right? Especially after Isaiah Hartenstein left to go to the Thunder and earlier this week. The team re-signed Precious Achua to a one-year deal. Do you like this move? And how do you feel about the team's depth at the five spot right now? I definitely love bringing Precious Achua back. I thought he played really well last season for us uh, at, at a combination of the four and five position. And also, obviously, with Mitchell Robinson, he was down since December. So Precious came in in January, of course. Precious played good basketball. When he got to play in the playoffs, he produced. He's tough. He plays hard, gets rebounds, plays tough defense. So it was very important to bring Precious Achua back. Precious Achua back because I'm not going to lie, I don't necessarily love Jericho Sims. I'll be rooting for him, but Jericho Sims kind of makes me nervous on the court. And so it was very important to bring Precious back after losing Isaiah Hartenstein. So the Knicks have a lot of depth this season, but they don't have a lot of depth up front because I love Mitchell Robinson. Let me make that very clear. I love Mitchell Robinson. I love his game. I love the way he plays. I love that he knows he's a center. He doesn't try things he shouldn't, plays down low, gets dunks, rebounds, block shots. Here's my fear. The Knicks are playing really great. It's a cold night in Minnesota on a Tuesday. It's the first quarter, and Mitchell Robinson busts something, and he's out the next two months. That's my biggest fear. And, then if, and I hope that doesn't happen because everybody knows me as a very positive Knicks fan. But if that happens, now you're in a tough position because now – you're going to throw Precious at center. You're going to have to have Jericho Sims play more. Maybe a lot of Julius Randle at the five. So as deep as the Knicks are, awesome. They are unfortunately not that deep up front. So I hear all that, and I, it sounds to me like you're saying you would like them to even maybe try to upgrade the center position if, during the season. If, if they can, that would be great. And listen, if this Mitchell Robinson injury doesn't happen, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, I hope it doesn't. If Mitchell Robinson plays how he should, then it's, it's fine. It's cool. Right. The only problem is history in life tends to repeat itself. And unfortunately, almost every year, Mitchell Robinson misses 20 to 30 games. And I hope he doesn't. Because like I said, I love Mitch. When he's out there, he produces. He, he had a hell of a start to the season last year. And then unfortunately, he gets injured at a game that was added because of the playing tournament on a Friday night in Boston. So, but like I said, I, I, and I'm curious to see if Tibbs goes to Julius Randle at the five a lot. I think, I'm, I'm I think he should, and I think he will. Now, if Isaiah came back, I would say he would never go Julius at the five. With no Isaiah coming back, I suspect Julius Randle to play a lot of five position this year for Tom Thibodeau and the New York Knicks. I wouldn't mind seeing some of that versatility with the Knicks, experimenting with some different lineups. Still with you. Still a little bit concerned about the depth. Love pressure's coming back. Yep. Still and I, like I said, concerned. I don't necessarily love Jericho Sims. I know he's working hard over the summer. I'll be rooting for him. But he kind of makes me a little nervous out there. All right, we got, we got to make you not nervous. We got to make you not nervous out there. So we'll see what they can do to address the depth. Now, Anthony, also this Saturday, time of us taping the show, it's the first day that Julius Randle is eligible to sign a extension with the Knickerbockers that could pay him up to $181.5 billion over as many as four years. Should New York lock Randall up right now? That's a great question. And that would be Julius Randall's third contract with the New York Knicks. And with the so much player movement the Knicks have had for so long, that would actually be pretty crazy for Julius to get his third contract with the New York Knicks. Oh, man. I think I really go either way with this. If you don't want to lock him up now, see where he goes this year, playing on a contract year, he'll ball out. He's going to ball out anyway, I think. But I, I understand... If the Knicks give it to him, and I understand if they don't. You want to create that stability, you give him the contract, and you know you got Julius, Jalen, hopefully they'll lock up Mikel, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, the whole core band together. If you don't, I get that as well. Mm. And also, and I'm a big Julius Randle fan, we've seen in the playoffs that the Knicks, when OG Ananobi is healthy and you have everyone else, they, and OG, maybe OG at the four, with Josh or Mikel, you know, however they want to play those things, the Knicks can win as well. So the Knicks are in a very interesting situation with Julius Randle. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how they play plays out. Do they do this? What do you think? What would you do? I think I'd wait. I, I think so too. And like I said, if, if they, depending on the number, if, now, if, if we if there. we get home today and Julius Randle signs a new contract, awesome, congrats. I'm glad he's back. But I can understand if they want to wait. The interesting thing to me is 
What number does he sign at? Right. Would he take less like Brunson did? He could be incentivized to do it, but when you look at what he's done, three-time All-Star, yep. right? Two-time All-NBA, second-team All-NBA with the Knicks, He's like, look, I could get a bag out there. Yeah. You should, guys should be paying me, and he's got a strong argument. So it's like, where do both sides? They, I don't know how close both sides And are also, paid. he's going to see what Jalen Brunson did. And also, uh-huh. Jalen Brunson still took a max contract. It would just be more had he waited a year. Right. So it, it's a very interesting situation the Knicks are in. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And I, I, I get the feeling he's not going to get the new deal right now. Yeah, it'll that, be that's my that's my gut. Could be wrong, but that's my gut. Could be could be wrong, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this new deal. Before we move off the Knicks, and I get to another thing I have to ask you. I got to ask you this because I saw you last year a ton during the playoffs. Yeah, we, we ran into each other a bunch. Playoffs are so much fun. So much fun, uh, it, right? It ended too, ended too soon. Oh, man. Yes, it did. Ended way too soon. And we were around it. We saw the excitement. It was incredible. Garden. Even outside, right? We were seeing each other before yep. these games. It was incredible. Now, with Mikel Bridges here, the excitement, you know, has gone up even more. The expectations have gone up yep. even more. Where are you on how you view this team? Because you talked about wanting your team to have a chance yep. to win a championship, right? Yes. I was recording my basketball show, New York Got Game, last week, and Alex Benesowitz of Bad Weather Fans sat here and said, Knicks are going to win the championship. You know, it's funny. It's so funny when you talk about fans, and Alex is a good guy. Alex was one of the most negative Knicks fans I've ever seen. (laughs) So for him to do a complete 180 to, oh, I think we're going to be – not. I think we're going to be in the conference finals. Not we have a chance to go to the finals, but we're going to win the championship – is just so New York fanish right there. Are, are you are you in this New York fan vibes? Are you there? Well, you're at of course. So I think the New York Knicks have a chance to win the NBA championship this year. I think the New York Knicks can win the NBA championship. Are they going to? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not Houdini. I can't predict it. But for the first time in a very long time, we are going into the season and we can say the New York Knicks have a chance to win the 2024-2025 NBA championship. And we haven't had a chance to say that a lot the last 25 years. So, Knicks fans, enjoy that. I think that's pretty fair. I was just trying to see if I could get you to be like, Alex, have the same energy. Say it with your chest that the Knicks are going to win a championship. I think I just said what I needed to say. I think you did. I was just trying to see if yeah, you Yeah, I just think I just, I, I'm not, not going to set myself up for, for disaster <laughs> either. Understood. The Knicks have a chance. But that's the thing about some fans, man. Because the same fans that will say they're definitely winning the championship right. said they couldn't win a round with Tom Thibodeau the year before. This, this so I'm true. not going to go so extreme. Right. I am saying the Knicks have a chance to win championship and that is amazing i happen to agree with you i think they have a chance and i do think it's amazing appreciate the energy on the knicks see we knew we knew we get a lot of energy out from you always on, on, on the knicks. always always for sure 